Today I'm here with a Tesco weekly grocery shopping haul. I spent 60 pounds. I needed to buy various things, meat, veggies, cupboard essentials, and I try to keep everything on budget as much as possible. Also, I prepared a meal plan, so my shopping was based on a seven days meal plan. I'm planning dinners only. I'm going to share this uh, seven dinner plan also with you, so stick till the end. Uh, if you are new here, hi, my name is Tunde. I'm a full-time working mommy and I'm regularly uploading shopping haul videos. So if you are interested in this kind of things, I would really love you to consider to subscribe. And now let's get to it. Let's see what did I purchase today. When I'm selecting the items, what I would like to purchase, I always try to stick with things which are at the moment on club card offered or they are on all the price match offer to save more money and eventually with this haul here today behind me i managed to save more than eight pounds so i think that's quite a good thing so this is how all the shop looks like from distance and let's go and let's have a look what is exactly here so i purchased excuse about the shadow i purchased two and a half kilo um made a piper potatoes it cost 149 for the family, I got the semi-skimmed milks. Uh, I usually buy a big bottle of six pint of them, plus some um, long life ones, so I can eliminate the trips uh, into the supermarket in between shoppings. And I also got three of them, uh, skimmed one for myself. The options Belgian, Belgian chocolate powder at the moment is on Club Card offer instead of 450. It cost only 225. I, that's a very, very good deal. Also, I got a 50% 50 less, 50 less fat soft cheese for myself and the blueberries. The strawberry milkshake is for my daughter. Now she has heard this of new mania that she wants strawberry milkshake instead of her next week. Okay, let it be. Uh, this one is the no added sugar one. I got a pack of gala apples, a pack of red onion and brown onions. Got a pack of pears, three pack of um, baked beans. I really like these baked beans actually. They are really cost almost nothing like 22 penny and they, they got quite a good taste. Uh, two pack of uh, chopped tomatoes, a uh, way 13 cooked ham. And I got some experiment in here. So I'm trying to reduce my fat intake as much as possible. Uh, because I got issue with my uh, reflux and but I figured that these um, not vegetarian this is like mincemeat chicken mincemeat but 30% uh, of it is um, veggies it has a quiet low fat intake if you can see that's only 3.5% and actually cost far less than if you buy the normal 5% means so these chicken means cost only two pounds which i think it's quite a good price so i bought two pack of them um, i'm going to try that one also the other things what i'm looking into are the sausages i love sausages my family loves sausages and as soon as i have sausage i have every type of heartburn and every type of problem so the other time i tried this um herby ones herby ones yeah this this is the one i no, this one, this one, sorry, the um, Cumberland style one I tried. And my family said that mm, it's yummy, it's nice. So I bought that one and I also bought the Herbie ones now. The Herbie one cost only what, 55, sorry. The plant, the other one, the Cumberland style one, I can't really recall exactly, but uh, less than two pounds again, or around two pounds. So it's not that just less fat intake, but but cheaper than than the original sausages so i'm absolutely up for these these sausages uh, also purchased um white wine stock pot red wine stock pot chicken legs uh actually i got two soft cheeses so i got two not one well, but two um the muller light at the moment also on club card offer usually it's cost 350 now it's only for 250 i like this orangey taste one and the uh, chocolate fix also on club card offer at the moment for 150 instead of two pounds i got my usual frozen chicken breast this cost 379 same as good as the fresh one a uh, savoy cabbage a uh, salad a rocket salad actually uh, fat free crack 
frozen broccolis, tupac of uh, peppers, flat leaf parsley. This one I'm always putting into the freezer and like that I can keep it for long. I have a uh, tomato puree, uh, roasted monkey nuts. My, my husband loves to, to nibble on this one. And I was running out of spices, so I got a glass jar of smoked paprika, onion granulates, and I've opted for this type of spices mix herbs and oregano because they cost like 25 penny more than the jar ones and but double amount compared to the jar ones so it's a better value and i also got a sriracha sauce meal plan wise I, I treated myself during the black friday sale with these uh two chubby cups uh, cookbooks um, this is the dinner time and I also have the first time feeling so two books I purchased for less than 15 pounds which was an amazing value and my next week meal plan is actually based on this one not everything but most of the meals so let's see what we are going to have during the next week for dinner so this is the plan for Monday jollof rice it's from the dinner time book page 243 I'm looking forward to this recipe because my husband is Nigerian and jollof rice is a Nigerian dish so I'm really curious about about what he will think about this dish. For Tuesday I'm going to have Cuban bean spaghetti which means uh, last week I did a slow cook Cuban beef from the Pinch of Nom cookbook. I have some leftover freezed in the freezer and I'm just going to defrost that one, cook spaghetti, mix them together, just grated some cheese on top and voila dinner is Ready. Wednesday, I'm going to have this proper lazy Hungarian cabbage rolls. I'm really looking forward to this because I am Hungarian. The way they are uh, written this recipe has nothing to do with the original Hungarian cabbage rolls. So I really, really, really curious about this dish. So this is going to be dinner on Wednesday. Evening. Thursday dinner coming also from the two chubby, chubby cups uh, dinner time receipt book. This is the Foxy Hunters chicken. It's look that easy how to make it eventually i just need the oven which i love making dishes in oven because until i can do any other things so this is going to be the thursday friday we are going to have a chicken dish i'm not quite sure how you pronounce this moorish moorish chicken so it also looks quite easy to prepare i really love that picture from the book so this is the plan for friday Saturday I'm going to work. Uh, my husband and my daughter is going to be at home. However, I'm planning a very quick Chinese fried rice uh, recipe for, for Saturday afternoon when I get home from work. That one is done within like 20 minutes. I, I got this recipe from uh, Michelle from uh, the channel at home with Shah. I think previously I shared this recipe with you, but anyway, I'm going to find that video where she shared this one and I'm going to link down in the description. Absolutely easy to prepare recipe. And Sunday I do work also, husband at home with my daughter. I did plan a spaghetti bolognese just in case because that one also can be done in like 20 minutes. But to be honest, Sundays most of the time I do have a plan, but usually it's not happening. Husband is ordering either Chinese or something or he's the one cooking something by the time I get home because I'm at home just like around 7 o'clock at the evening, so quite late. So plan is there, most probably ain't going to happen. So this was the weekly meal plan. Hope this one gives you some idea what to cook for the next week also. I hope you got some idea what's on offer at the moment on Tesco and what you can save money on. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. And as I said, if you are interested in uh, shopping hauls and foodie contents, please uh, consider to subscribe to my channel. It would mean a lot to me. And I will see you guys in my next video. Take care for now. Bye-bye.